Good evening, everybody. Um, we're going to get started. So for the next um, for the next hour or so, we're here to talk about GYLC or the Global Young Leaders Conference and how to get you prepared for the conference. And with you today, there are two of us. Aha, uh -huh, who is the project um, program manager, and myself, Yu Sparrow, who's the product marketing manager for the Young Global Global Young Leaders Conference program, also known as GYLC. So, hi, Lisa, hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our webinar tonight. Excited to share the information about the GYLC this summer. So, for tonight, we're going to cover a few things. So just for housekeeping, now you can hear us, but you, your mic are muted, so you cannot hear, you cannot, we cannot hear you. So if you have any questions, go to the chat or the question box and just type us your questions and we'll be happy to answer you um, any question you have throughout the webinar. So for today, we're going to go over, how going to go over your myenvisionexperience.com and the travel and arrival information, hotel and meals, site visit highlights, and then I'm gonna finish up by talking about city adventures, some of the extensions that are available to you, and cover some important reminders and our admissions contact information so you have more questions after we conclude. Thank you, you, that jump right in, accepting your program information. So at this point, um, at this point in the process, you should have already um, enrolled and been prompted to create lodging information. So in order to assess your scholars' account, you will first need to visit envisionexperience.com. At the top right corner of the homepage, you will see the lodging. Click lodging, and a dialog box will appear with two options. When you click the enroll student, you will then be sent to a page with the test box to input your lodging criteria, enter your email address and password for your scholar account. If you forgot your password, click forgot password to begin the password recovery process. Now, let's have a look at your envisionexperience.com, the enrollment forms and inform information. So after you, once you log in, you will then be taken to scholar specific account page, which should include the program, the section which you are enrolled. So this is the example of one scholar enrolled in GYLC this summer, section one. So if you look at this, you will see some of that have the deadline, for example, student information form deadline of May 27, because this student enrolled in GYLC section one. So in the top right of the page, you, when you click the enrollment form and info, this will load a page that lists all the form and information available for you. The first several items listed on this page are required for your attendance at GYLC. And you can see the orange bar with the header say required. These forms are required to submit for your attendance and each one of them will have specific deadlines. Please pay specific attention to reform. The first several item list, as I mentioned, is required for your attendance with GYYC program. If you run into any issue, please contact to the admission office at any time. And you can also see that many have the deadlines that need to be met in order for us to process the information and has it on file when you arrive on the day one. So again, please pay close attention to the request item and the deadlines. Um, now let's walk through a few of these um, to highlight some of the more important information. The first, let's review the required form under the required orange box. So you will see that the student information form to tell us about any allergy, dietaries, or other restrictions you may have. 
Second one is the medical authorization and the information form is also required for attendance to the program. You can digitally fill out and sign this form. Please include any medication or med medical concern in the medical authorization form. The next one is the mandatory travel form. When you open this document, it will provide specific on where to go when you arrive at the program and how you will be getting home. There are options for both airport arrival and on-site drop-off. This form is not a lock to one submission. After you fill in the form, you can always come back later to make an update or changes at the date of the program gets closer. For example, you know you will be flying into the program, but you have not yet purchased a ticket. That's okay. You can leave the specific flight information plan and come back and fill it in later. But be sure to complete this form prior to your arrival. The, la the next one you will see here is the Chart Mason University College Campus application. This is optional, but it has the deadline. So if you are to purchase the college credits, your the deadline for this application on will be on the fifth on the May 27. So pay closer to the uh, the deadline again. So the next two is really important about the government issue ID and passport. This is very very important for us to submit your information uh, for some secure site visits such as the State Departments the embassy in Washington, D.C., as well as the United Nations in New York City. The next one is St. John University Campus ID. And you all may be aware of this. We are stating at St. John's University in New York. So in order for us to stay at St. John, you have to submit your head source so that St. John can issue the storm card. This is the asset card for you to get in and out at the dorm. And different sections have different deadline. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the account from one scholar who enrolled in section one. That's why it had the deadline on May 27. So the last one in the required form uh, is the brief program aside feedback for understanding emerging leaders. We will dive further in this form later on in the next slide, but this is very important for you to understand. So here, are, these are on the required form. It's so important. And again, pay close attention to it and reach out to us at uh, any question you might have. And at the same time, if you have any question, please write the question about how we will try our best to answer wise um, um, during this webinar. So let's have a look at the next one, is the travel. So if you see the earlier, the first slide when I show the travel will be after the required form. These forms are very, very important. Have a look at the first um, title, the first item here, work tag, official travel agency. What do we mean by that? For work tag is, this is just the optional, work tag is um, our official travel agency um, we, that we work with who can assist in providing flight option to help you coordinate your trip. This is optional and you can find their contact info in this file and also is on the slide as well. The second item in the travel is the exception and the consulate letter. This is only apply for international students. You will need to generate this consulate letter in order to, um, uh, to get to your visa interview. So if you still do not know how to get this letter, please contact our admission. Uh, for, put it on follow the step on the website but also contact our admission if you're running into the issue. The third item in the travel category, we planning and travel checklist. Here is a draft coming soon, but if you have the asset into your portal, it's already there, it's official, it's provide a lot of useful tip for you um, in terms of planning and travel checklist, which we will dive deeper into it in the next slide. 
So this, the third categories in your portal will be repairing for your program. Here we are, we are having totally five items that you will have to look at. Mainly they provide information for you in terms of housing, registration, travel, planning, travel and dress code checklist. Um, so let's have a look at um, the housing and registration. Um, under this, you will first see the housing and registration where you find important information about registration time and arrival window. Registration time and arrival windows at the Sheraton Pentagon City in Washington, D.C. is really important for you to see like what time you're supposed to be arrived and do the registration at the program. Please pay attention to the recommended arrival and departure time before you finalize your travel flights. Um, the airport, the arrival airport in Washington, D.C. is the Dulles International Airport and the departure airport in New York City. We have two airports there. The first one is John Kennedy International Airport, or we call JFK, and the other will be Newark Liberty International Airport, or we call EWR. It depends on where you come from. You should Pay attention to the are the two departure airports of the GWLC program where we have the airport shuttle will bring you from the Shenzhen to either one of these departure airports. So ensure you understand the information about the travel windows, the shuttle riders, as well as the airports for both arrival and departure before you purchase your flight. And once you know all of this information, don't delay your booking. So let's look at next will be the dress code checklist. We will definitely dive further into the dress code checklist in the further uh, later slide as well. But ensure you pay attention to we recommended how many professional are tied, the program are tied and casual are tied. We recommend you should bring over with you. So. And then the last thing we would dive into will be information about your city adventure in New York City. This is e, an extension of the GYSC program. When you end the program in New York, uh, you opt to stay, like if you choose to stay with the city adventure, um, you will stay there for another three, four days where you have the uh, opportunity to uh, explore the New York neighborhood, seeing a lot of cultural uh, aspect of the city, such as uh, go to see the Broadway show, um, to see 9-11 Memorial, which you will share with you later on in this webinar. So, as I mentioned earlier, uh, when we go to the um, one of the remembers um, in the form there, as we said, remember the to pack like dress code and remember what to bring. No, this is where you can find directly on your portal. So for the dress code, as GOE GYLC had an excellent reputation as the result of the high standard of professionalism. To ensure this standard is maintained, all students are expected to exercise professional discretion and self judgment in personal appearance and habits, and to maintain high professional image of the program. So, GYLC scholars wear career attire when attending speaking events and most side visit, for example, State Department, the Embassy, the UN. And we'll have the opportunity to change into casual attire at various points throughout the conference. On the arrivals and the departure day, you can wear casual attire to be comfortable for travel. Take some time to review the dress code in detail to ensure you are repaired with the proper and enough clothing. So and now let's look at the remember to print list. Here you will find a lot of additional parking and travel information. They are super helpful, such as bring confirmation pay from the information you submitted to the mandatory travel form. 
the government issue ID photo, your driving license, your student ID for international students, ensure you have the passport with you, your ticket, your e-ticket receipt. Um, one of the team here is also the actor spending money while in the program. And as a reminder, as you might be aware of this, it's one meal per day on your own. And it's estimated around 15 US dollar to 25 US dollar per meal. Um, plus, uh, you might want to have some extra money so that you can do some shopping, buy in some souvenir and bring home. So um, bear in mind about that. We will go further into this a little bit later on. Um, we'll provide you some of the tip about what um, would be better for you to bring the credit card, debit card, or cash. So for in terms of electronic device, um, you can bring, you recommend to bring like um, your laptop, um, your iPad, it's just recommended, it's, but it's not a required. Um, for the other personal stuff, for example, I strongly recommend you bring an umbrella, the rain jacket, or the sun ring because it's super useful in the summertime in the US. Um, and one more time, again, review the housing and registration and travel document for the housing site accommodation because you may want to bring an extra blanket, for example. Um, so that will be the one of the remember to bring this and it also can be found on your portal. So earlier we are, we talked about the travel, the shuttle information, and I want to put this here on this slide just to remind you again, the, for the, if you purchase the shuttle with Envision, it's called $35 free its way. Um, and $70 US dollars for route trip. This is optional and you have to pay in advance. In case if you can't, for some reason, you can't pay in advance, um, we still can get it for you when you get to the um, um, the program as long as you just inform us beforehand and you can pay when you're in the program as well. We accept it last minute change, but please ensure you pay it in advance so that we can arrange every accommodate you in a rent better and pay attention to the travel windows of the shuttle as well so on the for example on the departure day on the shuttle depart at the housing site at 10 a.m uh, to either uh, jfk or newark airport as i shared earlier so ensure that you you understand the travel window so you can arrive into that travel window for arrival day. It should be uh, 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you read through that information and if you select this option, paste in advance and we will accommodate you and we'll see you at the airport. So let's see for the next one, the academic resources. The academic resources, and if you can see, there are totally three items here that we need to cover. Even we say social and emotional learning assessment coming soon, but it will be uh, ready for you to more than three weeks because it's a deadline for you to complete this assessment. So, what is the pairing survey? Pairing survey is the unit survey. We provide the research by inside that measure the social and emotional skills that are very important in your life. By understanding the strength and identify skill gaps, it can help plan and repair for your future success. You are asked to complete the pairing survey three weeks prior to arriving at your program. Please follow the detail of each step in this file. The deadline show appears again. This is for the scholar that enrolled in the section one. Second item in the academic resource is the academic uh, preparation and reprogram assignment. This is the feedback for understanding immersion leaders, or we call fear. If you remember in previous slide, I, in the required form, you are required to complete this survey, but I am also mentioned that oh, we'll dive deeper into this um, for later slide, and here we are. This, the, what would be, what is FIEL? FIEL is the sale segment for students to complete as well as an opportunity for you to ask your teacher or your mentors for feedback on your leadership 
in the classroom and in the community. We use this feedback building the program to develop leadership goals and to learn more about how to use the gift of feedback to be a skill and for your and future aspiration for your future career. So lastly is the important information about your colleague credit. This is also when I mentioned earlier, please read this information carefully. If you select this option, you will have the deadline to submit on the information. So let's have a quick review on of the required form I just covered on over. So all of these are very important. Student information form, medical authorization and information, mandatory travel form, government issue ID or the passport detail entry form, St. John University campus ID registration photo upload, and lastly, a pre-program assignment, including field and pairing survey. Please reach out to our admission with any question if you have any issue when you accept all of this form on your portal. Let's go over the next one, airport arrival. What will be, what will be expected the airport arrival? For this is just for international students only. So if you have to enter the US territory, so make sure you um, require to, you require to go through immigration. Make sure to repair on the entry documents such as passport visa. And sometimes you are asked to provide a housing address in the US. As, as a reminder, the housing address can be filed in your travel form, in your scholar portal, and also on Envision website under Global Young Leaders Conference Program. Make sure to repair all of these important paper while you are still on the flag. So for airport arrival, allow up to two hours for you to go through the custom because at the Dulles International Airport, it's a big airport. And if your fly arrives at the same time with the other international flies, your time to go through the custom may take up to two hours. And this time may vary depend on the traffic at the time you arrive. So if you just stand in your line and waiting a little bit too long, it's okay. Just it's just the process that you have to go through. So at the airport arrival, our G well RC staff will greet you during the window, the designate time window with the sign it is say G well RC welcome. And we are based at the baggage climb number 10 from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. on arrival day. So we will have, once you submit your travel information, we will have all of your travel uh, flight information and our staff will be at the baggage climb number 10 and waiting for you there. Um, please know that we do not go inside to meet you after you go through the custom, collect your luggage, walk to the back of clam number 10, where we have our g lc staff waiting for you there. So next one will be the airport, also in the airport arrival, but how about the transfer from the airport to the hotel? As I mentioned earlier, take the shuttle if you purchase. The shuttle service between the designated airport and the housing location is provided for students arriving by plane. Um, and pay in the van. The shuttle on the shuttle service on the arrival days will depart at noon and thereafter will run continuously. And seeing the, the shuttle departs according to the rate of the student arrival, you may have to wait a short period of time before boarding the shuttle. Many students use the time as an opportunity to enjoy snack or to meet other students. This is also another info, very important information for your arrival day. Arrival day telephone is shown on the slide. Please call your program helpline for any assistance you need starting at 8 a.m. on the arrival days and 7 p.m. on the departure day. This includes your missing your flight, having difficulty meeting our ambitions team, or any travel situation you may experience on the arrival days or departure day. For question about the program or your enrollment or question before or after program, please contact the Office of Admission. 
And please note that this number will only be active on the arrival day and departure day to support the student only. So if you don't need to write out this number because this number also on your um, student portal and is in housing, registration and travel information document. So now, welcome to America with some travel team. So what would you think you would prepare for your trip to America? So for, for some of you that um, will be in America the first time, um, please research and read more about US culture before traveling to America. You can also look for more information online very easily. For example, you can use the, the free to just set like tip for Thai travel to the US. Um, the second point I would like to share is also do not isolate yourself. Um, being comfortable, uh, being comfortable, always ask for help. If you don't know anything, ask for help. Talk to your peers, talk to your friend uh, who attend the same program with you, or talk to your advisor or even the Global Young Leaders Conference staff. Um, online resources are everywhere. Read, just read about the culture, American culture. It will provide you a lot of tips, not only about the culture, but maybe about the weather, about the time being different between your home country and the US is who provide you a lot of good tips. How about the communication? Have you have a, you thought of the creating a plan to communicate with your family at home and so when you're uh, abroad? You may think about the international phone plans or but up on be sure your phone is on way charges at um, the Sheraton Pentagon City as well as the St. John University. You all have the access to the internet so that you can, you know, send the picture home and show and share this the moment uh, or your achievement uh, while at the program. Another travel tip I would like to share here is related to the uh, list to remember to bring is about um, the money matters because you should you should be able to understand the exchange rates and use the website that is on the slide. Um, to understand more about the exchange rates between U.S. and your home, um, your home country currency. Uh, for in terms of cash, uh, that bit you're gonna ask like, what kind of cars or cash does um, you wouldn't want it to bring to the um, the U.S. with you? You should convert some currency at your home country before you fly, um, as you are responsible for purchasing your offsite meals uh, during the program. We recommend that you bring appropriate, like I mentioned earlier, 15 to 25 US dollar per meal, uh, plus others um, for if you want to do shopping and purchasing the souvenir. Most store and restaurant in the US accept major credit cards such as Visa, Mastercard, or American Express, regardless of which country or bank issue them. However, there are some places where we will be eating may only accept cash. So traveler checks are difficult to yield in many locations. An ATM bank card with a four-digit PIN is easier for making purchases. We strongly suggest debit or credit cards and Envision is not responsible for lost or stolen car. So one thing to remind you to please inform your bank that your tie in the US and the tie you will use your debit or your credit card. So your bank will be notified that you will use this card to purchase in America so that you don't get locked out while in the US. So now your tie in America, let's have a look at your housing side. As I mentioned earlier, or earlier, all of this information can be found online on your portal. And in Washington, D.C., we are staying at the Sheraton Pentagon City Hotel. And when we move to New York, we're going to stay at the St. John University. All of you will have three or more same gender roommates. In, at the Sheraton, we will have the triple room, which means three of you in the same gender will stay in a room together. And when we move to St. John, it will be a different um, uh, side, uh, style of the dorm room. It will be two, four, or six, a switch style. 
So, and I'm sure you remember the, uh, you have with you uh, the address of Shelton and St. John as when you go through the custom, they may ask you to put out the address uh, while you're in America. So what will be a meal for you during the program? Uh, set menu and buffet style with variety of food options common in the U.S. Like at the Shelton, that's how the buffet style. And in the St. John University is also the same. Uh, but uh, submit your dietary needs online. Uh, we can accommodate for vegetarian, gluten free, lacto intolerant, allergy, kosher, hala, and all other uh, dietary needs if we notify in advance. So, all of this information you can fill in the student information form. And as I mentioned earlier, about one meal a day is eat on your own, two meals a day provided by the program. Have a look at some of the program schedule and highlight. Um, so what would be the, uh, the summary for our program? You all might have this in your mind, but uh, first of all, we think that about leadership skill development will be found throughout the program via speaker, side visit, or in group meeting. In the group meeting, uh, that you will set the expectation, you exchange the idea, um, on how young people can get further involved uh, and issue the go of global leadership. That's important you want to all of you. Um, in the crop culture understanding, you go have the opportunity to exchange your culture, um, your background with 25 students in your group. And at the same time, we have a session that's where we all, the whole conference will get uh, together to share what's your where you from, what your culture is about, and then learn together. And lastly, it just explore the individual impress of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We're gonna go a little bit further into this. Go in the later slide. So, what are a few key highlights um, for the Global Young Leaders Conference? As I mentioned earlier, you will have the opportunity to meet and work with 25 scholars from all around the world, including the U.S. student. You will have the opportunity to interact with a speaker from the World Bank, the State Department, the United States, and the international organization in America. Some of the side visits in Washington, D.C., you will have the opportunity to go through the memorials, including the World War II Memorial, the Vietnam War, the Vietnam Women's, Lincoln and Korean Memorial. You also have the opportunity to visit one of Smithsonian Museum and the Holocaust Museum. In New York, it's gonna be a great time to visit Times Square Rockefeller Center. Also, you have the opportunity to visit the United Nations and the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Last, the last night of your GLC program, you're gonna spend the dinner on the Spirit Cruise. The school is going to go along the New York Arbors and you're going to have a social night before the departure day. So another key highlight for the program as well, the Global Summit Simulation, as you might be aware of, this is your capstone project. You will enhance, you will have the opportunity to enhance your leadership skill and explore different issues facing the world leader in the 21st century. And the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals so at the foundation for our global summit. And you can see the UN have totally 17 goals um, in the sustainable development goals. Um, at the Global Young Leaders Conference, we are selecting 10 goals for you to work on and to work with your uh, mates to, together with your advisor um, to get to the global summit at the UN at the end of your program. One of the team is, I would like to uh, mention here is the safety and the security. And this is very important for um, our scholars, uh, for you to attend the program as well as all of us here at Envision. So the, the safety and security for our scholar is the number one priority. Scholars are led through the program and cared for in the small group by trained advisors. As mentioned before, these staff members are experienced with students and have undergone extensive training and background checks. During the first group meeting, scholars will take part in briefing in the policy procedure of the program. 
This will include in the information on who to contact in an emergency, attendance, off-site safety procedure, and venue safety protocol. You will also practice the emergency evacuation plan in your first small group meeting. And we should also have several safety processes in play that we teach scholar and ask you to adhere to throughout the program. All of you and staff must wear your name badges anytime you are outside of your sleeping room and staff conduct attendance at every group meeting and anytime they depart a location on the bus. In the back of your name badge, there are important phone numbers that you can call, for example, the program list, your education list, and the program office assistant in case you need to contact. Every evening, our scholars are dispatched to their sleeping room. Our staff will conduct the room check nightly to ensure that all students are in your room for the night and distribute any important information for the next day events. Once room check are completed, you are not permitted to leave your room until breakfast in the following morning. If you do need, you do need any urgent request, please contact the office. And as I mentioned, behind your name best on the necessary telephone number that you need are uh, listed there. So yeah, that pretty much um, covers all the information, very important information on your student portal, as well as your arrival at the airport, how to get to the program, and safety for your safety during the program. Um, I'm going to pass this over to you, Vu. She will talk to you about the pre and pro program extension what's out there. Thank you so much, you. Thank you so much, Hod. Um, guys, um, Hod covered a lot of information, so I'm going to quickly um, go over a few other things about our posts and pre-program options and some important reminders. Then we can um, give you guys more time to ask, um, ask questions. So when, when Gmolacy offers three optional program add-ons, first is our pre-program orientation. So this is a two day before the program starts. Um, it's a, for, the first, for two days, it's an introduction to cross-cultural communications and the students will get a tour of the George Washington University and have a chance to do a admissions workshop to learn about admissions, college admissions, criteria and steps in the, for the US um, in the US and I'll give you guys extra time to explore some of the landmarks in DC such as in George Thomas Jefferson Memorial, Martha Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King Memorial and the Capitol Hill. So this is also a good chance for you guys to land and get um, acquainted and situated prior to the core program starting. For people who are interested there's also the post program program post-program programming. Um, if any of you want to stay, spend a little extra time in New York, there is the option. It's three nights in New York City after your program ends. This time, this is more of a, free, a freer time, so you get to see a lot more sites at New York, including Empire State Building. You get to see a Broadway show. Um, you get to go into the 9-11 Memorial, uh, Memorial and explore some of the iconic New York neighborhoods such as Soho, Midtown, Greenwich, Greenwich Village. So this is a post program. You'll spend three additional nights in New York City. For those of you who are making travel plans, maybe flying in at that window could be a little bit tricky or that you don't want to start if you're flying from overseas, again, getting situated, getting you're exhausted. Um, you also have the option to arrive a day early. So that one day start, either you can add this on either as one day early pre-program orientation or one day early for your core program. So it doesn't matter if you're doing the pre-programming or you just want to only doing the core program, you still have that option, arrive a day early, you can arrive in the early afternoons, you get a, a light meal, kind of meet your, um, meet some of the scholars that you'll in your program. So get yourself like a nice sleep and get yourself a good start for the program. So how to add this, everything is managed through a portal. So if you logged in, this is my test 
um, account. So don't don't worry about the the actual names and stuff. So you go to the manage account on top, and you'll you'll come to the screen, and you'll see the program that you have registered for. And there's a little button that calls add option items. If you click on that, that'll open up the options that you haven't added on. At this time, I'm just showing you the three pre and post orientations extensions. There's other add-ons, including you know credit, travel protection. Um, you can also souvenir uh, photo. You can also add those on if you haven't done so. You want to. Um, I added bonuses. If you add the pre-program orientation and the city adventure in New York, if you do both, you get a 20% discount off the both of the program. So that's a $400 you at U.S. dollar savings. If you're interested, you know, just spending a little more extra time in the U.S. and D.C. and in New York, which is one, two of the most iconic cities in the United States. So that's still an option. You haven't done so. And uh, that is our programming. So I want to go through some of the important reminders. So please, when you are booking your travel, keep in those arrival and departure windows in mind. We want to make sure you've got the uh, best experience. Staff will be there a little bit earlier and will stay a little bit later knowing that there's not international travel. If your international student come in, don't worry, you're arriving at 11. Maybe we're not going to start driving students there at 2 you'll have to go to customs. There will be a few hours of delay. So there will be a little bit of wait, but please arrive close to the travel windows as possible. You don't want your flight to be too early flying home because then you'll miss some of the programming in the morning. Or flying too late, then you'll be sitting in the airport a little longer. So keep in mind that. Also keep in mind that the early arrival could, if you could not find a flight that's gonna be in that travel window, Think about taking the early arrival option that give you like maybe the day before will give you a little more option or take the extension maybe three days from now on a Saturday or something. It will give you more option. Um, purchase, you can purchase shuttle. There's a lot of questions about the shuttle came up. We only have shuttle service to the Dallas International Airport. We're not going to Reagan. We're not going to BWI. I'm really sorry, but that's the only airport we have shuttle service. Um, if you, you you choose to fly into those the other two airports, it's perfectly fine. You're just responsible to get yourself from the airport to the program site. The question came up of what you know what's transportation. Easiest thing to do is hop in a cab, a taxi. There will be cab and um, and taxi in front of the once you walk out. There there's a, a line that you can queue up to get into a taxi. If you guys are in, uh, are familiar with Uber and Lyft service, those are share um, ride share services in the United States. You can use those as well if you feel comfortable using those. But we do not have airport pickup on the except in Dallas airport. So please keep that in mind. And please, 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 a couple questions came up about um, completing the form on time. Please keep the form on time. If you're late, please get back in and do it. It's it's, um, it's quickly as possible. We, we need to know your travel information so we can anticipate your arrival. Plus, um, HA has covered that for some of the government sites, we do need your government ID. If you do not give us a government ID um, soon enough, we have to submit your name. And if you are late, we might just you might just deny entrance. It's just We just cannot go in. Those are secure buildings, and there's nothing we can do. So please submit your forms on time. Um, as, as much as you could, as quickly you could for international students, your consulate and acceptance letters are also there to help you get your visa to come to the United States. Um, get that started as soon as you can. We don't want any delays or um, hiccups in that. Um, again, more, this is just more about forms. Complete your student information form that tells us about you, um, your dietary needs, any medical information we should know about. This help us to give you a good experience as much as we can. The more we know about you, the better. So please complete those forms. Um, again, or we think we're to cover, we need your information to book some of the site visits and other program events. We need to know your travel information. Um, a few other questions came up about dress codes. Dress codes for GYLC is professional. You will have a chance to wear casual. There will be times you'll be um, taking a walk in the city, there will be time you're, you're visiting Times Square. Those are kind of casual days, but please uh, keep in mind during the program while you're meeting, those are professional. 
So someone mentioned about jeans. Yes, you can wear jeans, but in only selected times. So please pack both casual and professional clothes. Um, I'm thinking, trying to think anything else came up. Um, laptop, laptop is optional, recommended, but optional. You will not need a you will not need a need a laptop to complete the program, but it's optional if you want to take it with you. Um, any so so what are your next steps? Again, complete your forms <laughs> um, and secure your passport if you're arriving if you're coming in from outside the United States. Get your visa process started as possible. Book your flights. Be mindful of the arrival and departure windows. Be close as possible. Our team do our utmost best to accommodate some early arrivals and late, late departures. But for your experience, it's better to just keep those windows close as closely possible. Um, Ha has covered this. The, we do have airport shuttle, again, only in Dallas Airport. It's $70 for the round trip. You don't have to take the round trip. If you just want one way, you can do $35. The way how you secure that is to complete your mandatory travel form in there um, indicate that you want shuttle service how to pay for that if you have your review on the payment plan with a credit card on, on on file we'll just charge that to your credit card if not you can go back in add your credit card information get paid right there um, or you can just bring some kind of form of payment when you arrive so but it's always good to just get that taken care of prior to your departure pack according appropriately consult the packing sheet the packing tips sheet to make sure you have enough clothes and appropriate clothes for your program. Get some comfortable shoes and some, some comfortable clothes if you're doing some walking in DC and New York as well. And then just get ready to embark on the adventure of your lifetime. We're looking forward to seeing all of you at the, pro at the program this summer, um, summer for us in the States. So please, Ha and I will stay on for a few minutes to answer any um, additional questions. Um, you guys are just we're we're gonna stick around for another 10 minutes. We're we're due to end at eight o'clock uh, Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. So we'll have about 10 minutes. So just give us any questions, any specific questions that we didn't get to answer. We feel like we need to get back to you. We'll, we'll reach out to you individually. Um, but you know, if you have very specific questions, such as you know your your own circumstances, um, it's best to give you your full name and your maybe email address is good to reach you at. So when you put in the question, so we can definitely get back to you. So thank you. Um, it's good night for us. So have a wonderful night. Again, we look forward to seeing you soon. Great, thank you. See you.